In the annals of cinema, few films have left an indelible mark as lasting as the 1933 classic King Kong. Its colossal footprint on the industry is matched only by the gigantic ape that dominates the screen. Whether it was the thrill of witnessing groundbreaking special effects or the emotional resonance of an unexpected connection between man and beast, this cinematic masterpiece has withstood the test of time. Reflecting on the first time you watched this iconic film may evoke a sense of nostalgia. Perhaps you, like many others, can recall the awe and wonder it inspired. The allure of King Kong lies not only in its towering spectacle, but also in its ability to tap into universal themes. A tale of adventure and the untamed, the film beckons audiences to grapple with the untamed forces of nature and humanity's perpetual quest for dominance. As you revisit the memories of this cinematic journey, consider the impact it had on your perception of storytelling and the silver screen. Did it ignite a passion for the fantastical or fuel a fascination with the unexplored? Random facts. Behind the scenes, King Kong harbors a treasure trove of intriguing trivia. From the meticulous stop-motion animation techniques that brought the colossal ape to life to the innovative use of miniature sets, every frame of this cinematic landmark is a testament to the ingenuity of its creators. Did you know that the iconic roar of Kong was a composite of lion and tiger roars, creating a sound that would echo through the corridors of film history? As we delve into the rich history of King Kong, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this cinematic marvel. How has it left an enduring imprint on your cinematic journey or influenced your perspective on storytelling? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the throes of the Great Depression, the cinematic landscape witnessed the colossal arrival of a groundbreaking film that would forever alter the trajectory of popular culture. Born from the visionary mind of filmmaker Marion C. Cooper, King Kong emerged in 1933 as a towering achievement in the realms of fantasy and adventure. The tale unfurls on the mysterious Skull Island, where a film crew stumbles upon a colossal ape revered by the islanders as a god. Captivated by the allure of capturing this majestic creature, the crew, along with the resilient Anne Darrow, embarks on a treacherous journey. The narrative crescendos as Kong, a symbol of untamed nature, is brought to the concrete jungle of New York City, a spectacle that both enthralls and terrorizes. The film's pioneering use of stop-motion animation and groundbreaking special effects, courtesy of Willis Aubrian, rendered Kong's visage unforgettable, imprinting itself onto the collective consciousness of audiences worldwide. Beyond its technical marvels, King Kong etched its place in cultural history by crafting a poignant allegory of humanity's insatiable desire to conquer the unknown, even at the cost of unleashing chaos. This iconic masterpiece's resonance endures as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in cinema, immortalizing the colossal ape as a symbol of both fascination and folly. A timeless paragon, King Kong has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of film, its influence reverberating through generations of filmmakers who continue to draw inspiration from its towering legacy. The original release of the film featured press book art by Key Luke, an acclaimed illustrator turned actor whose work graced other notable films like The Shanghai Gesture. Interestingly, the film's opening Old Arabian proverb was penned by none other than Marion C. Cooper himself. After the actors wrapped up, it took a year for Willis H. Obrian to finalize the effects while Cooper pieced the film together. Meanwhile, Fay Ray managed to star in four other films before King Kong hit the screens. Key Luke's artistic contribution, Cooper's writing, and the extensive post-actor production highlight the intricate efforts behind the scenes. These lesser-known aspects shed light on the collaboration and dedication that brought this iconic film to life, enriching its history and adding depth to its legacy. Marion C. Cooper drew inspiration from W. Douglas Burden, fascinated by how massive predators, like the ones Burden brought to the Bronx Zoo, swiftly perished once caged. Interestingly, the island where most of the action happens is never actually named Skull Island in the film. While Denham and Anne mention Skull Mountain, the island itself remains unnamed. Additionally, when describing Kong de Fay Ray, Cooper mentioned, Y'all have the tallest, darkest leading man in Hollywood, to which she initially thought of Clark Gable. These intriguing insights reveal the behind-the-scenes influences and nuances within the 1933 movie. They shed light on Cooper's inspiration and the subtle elements within the storyline that might have been overlooked. It's fascinating how these details add depth to the narrative without explicitly being mentioned on screen. 
This movie, regarded as one of the greatest of all time by Entertainment Weekly, made a colossal debut. It premiered simultaneously at New York City's two largest theaters, the Roxy and Radio City Music Hall, selling out every show. These venues, accommodating around 10,000 seats, had 10 performances a day, all packed to capacity. The film's grand arrival marked a milestone in cinematic history, captivating audiences from the start. Despite its acclaim, the lead animator, Willis H. O'Brien, held reservations about Kong's giant head, feeling it limited dramatic potential. This clash of opinions behind the scenes adds a layer of complexity to the film's creation, underscoring the challenges faced in bringing this monumental production to life. Willis Aubrian, the creative force behind the film's special effects, previously collaborated with Thomas Edison. This partnership preceded his groundbreaking work on the colossal creature flick. King Kong later underwent various re-releases worldwide, marking a milestone in film history. One such reissue in 1938 saw alterations conforming to the production code. Scenes of violence and suggestive content were edited out, aligning with the censorship standards of the time. Interestingly, an intense sequence, featuring sailors being devoured by giant spiders after falling from a bridge, caused a stir during a preview in 1933. This graphic scene, once part of the movie, was removed by director Marion C. Cooper himself due to its unsettling impact on audiences. The film's enduring legacy lies not just in its original release, but also in the alterations made over subsequent reissues, reshaping its content for evolving audiences. Authors Daniel Loxton and Donald Prothero in their 2013 book Abominable Science suggest a direct link between the UK release of the film and supposed sightings of a sea monster in Loch Ness, Scotland. Within six months of the movie's release, the first documented sightings of the Loch Ness monster emerged. Witnesses described it moving left to right, reminiscent of a scene in the film featuring a brontosaurus. This led to blurry photos and descriptions of Nessie, possibly inspired by the movie. Interestingly, jungle scenes in the film were shot on the same set as those in The Most Dangerous Game, starring Fay Ray and Robert Armstrong. This movie, ranking as the third highest grossing film in 1933 domestically, left an unexpected mark on popular culture and the supposed sightings of a cryptic creature, possibly blurring the line between imagination and reality. As our journey through the captivating world of that timeless tale draws to a close, I implore you to take a moment. Reflect on the sheer awe, the visceral emotions stirred by the colossal spectacle, the palpable resonance that lingers even now. Your personal connection to this cinematic masterpiece, whether etched in childhood memories or discovered more recently, is a thread woven into the rich fabric of its legacy. Share with us your cherished moments, your thoughts that soar to the heights of Skull Island or resonate in the cityscape of New York. Embrace the opportunity to illuminate the beauty of this iconic narrative through your own lens. Your perspective enriches the narrative tapestry, adding depth and diversity to our collective understanding of this monumental film. We eagerly anticipate glimpsing the world of King Kong through your eyes, painted with your unique hues of admiration, nostalgia, or newfound appreciation. Thank you for sharing your time, your thoughts, and your sentiments with us. Your presence enriches this exploration of cinematic wonder. Until we meet again, may the legacy of King Kong continue to echo in the corridors of our imagination.